So I've just dropped off my car for an MOT and I'm having a nice walk by the river when I see this absolute eyesore in front of me. Like, what on earth is this thing? It just, there's just so much outstanding beauty and then you've got this bloody thing. Beauty, beauty, beauty. What the hell is that? That's disgusting. So being furloughed from work and waiting for my car to be repaired, I've got nothing else to do today, so why not just do a little bit of exploring and see what's in that building? See if we can actually get in there. Well, I mean, there is a big giant square on the front of it. Like, I don't understand what it is. It hasn't got any doors, it hasn't got any windows. It's just this square. It's very strange. It doesn't look bad from that this far away, but when you zoom in, it doesn't even look finished. Right, so coming at it from this angle with like the hedgerow here and, and things like this, or maybe it was like a, an old World War II like fortification machine gun like post type thing. However, I can't see any like machine gun holes and also this appears to be the entrance. So that would kind of be the other way around because what it's guarding at the moment would appear to be the hill, which you wouldn't. You'd put a machine gun turret post like that here and have it spray all the bullets and everything over an open field like this. So that doesn't make any sense, which adds even more mystery to why this ugly round thing with no explanation is here. Now, I'd also like to note while I'm getting over to here, I'm just going over public land and public crossings and you know, like that, I'm not actually going through any private land. So just don't do that kind of thing because I just trespassing. It looks disgusting. I just don't understand why it's there. What, what is it? It looks like some kind of like bunker in the middle of nowhere on some public land for no reason. That's pretty weird. I gotta go have a look. Right, so here is the bunker. Um, kind of close to it now, there's no guards or anything. It does look like that bunker from um, American Horror Story, if you've seen that. So I don't really know what to expect when we go in there. We're gonna see if I can get in there. It might just be like a farmer's shed or something. I don't... So on the building, look around. Doesn't seem to be anyone in there. There is a roof on it. So it's gonna be, it's really bloody ugly. This is probably the beginning of like the new Blair Witch project. Um, hello? Hello? Okay, here we go. I'm gonna go right. It's creepy now. Oh, this is so creepy. There's definitely a roof on it. Oh, I thought I heard something, it's just me. Oh, it's like going to one of those like fairground show. Hello. There's a shining light. Don't really know how that's there. This has got a roof on it. Oh, oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Right, okay, so there's a massive hole in the roof. Okay, I don't think anyone's here. Yep, it's just me. What the hell? <laughs> hey. What an... Okay, I'm gonna have to stop rolling here. Because I'm gonna have to fully inspect this place. So it turns out that this is a memorial to the Magna Carta, basically. And yeah, for as disgusting as it looks on the outside, really quite nice in here. It kind of fits in here. It's just horrible the outside's not done. Um, but then again, that might be because it... Oh. 
bit freaky being in a monument by yourself. Um, yeah, it might be just because, you know, we want to get back to that kind of raw material age because the Magna Carta is very old, so this is kind of maybe a tribute to the style back then, I don't know. The one thing that really did confuse me until I was like, dohoi moment was the writing above the thing. Hold on, we're going to flick to it right now. So what really confused me was this, like, writing at the top of the thing here. I mean, I didn't know if it was, like, maybe it was, like, some kind of, like, Hebrew going right to left or this way or maybe it was, like, encoded. And I was like, oh, well, it kind of looks upside down. And then I realised you should be looking in the water because that verts top bit. And, yeah, it makes perfect English when you look at the bottom bit. Also gives this really cool effect when you look into the water. So yeah, I posted a link down below what it says. But yeah, all in all, a kind of scary adventure. It turned out to be quite a joyful one. Anyway, I'm gonna leave. I actually really do like the lighting and now I understand why it has a roof and stuff, and like, I don't know, your expectation when you came in was like, what is this? And then you get into the middle of it, and you're like, this is actually kind of awesome. I don't know, I'm conflicted. But yeah, my MOT's done, so I'm gonna head back. Oh, I hate things like this. Go this way.